This is a Rusty Family 7, Loops and Eights. Family 7 is one of the most widely used group of figures in the Rusty system, appearing in all families except Family 9. A basic loop is often the first aerobatic maneuver attempted by novice pilots. As we'll discuss, there's a major difference between that first loop and one that is flown precisely. This family is quite large and we'll divide it into two parts. In the first part, we'll talk about the general rules that apply to all looping elements and then begin to examine specific subfamilies. In the second part, we'll conclude looking at the remaining looping figures. Let's get into family 7. Here is a small sample of looping types found here. As is apparent, loops aren't necessarily round figures, nor are they necessarily so-called closed figures. Some looping figures can have rolling elements added to the entry, exit, or integrated into the loop itself. They can be flown either upright or inverted, entered up or down, and are always when corrected throughout, making this family quite versatile. Let's look at some general criteria that apply to all Family 7 figures. The size of the loop, large or small, as chosen by the pilot, is not a judging criteria. The radii of all loops, partial or whole, must be constant. When a radius change is observed, a one-point deduction is applied. In figures where loop size or radii are required to be the same and they are not, a one-point deduction per mismatch is applied. Here the standard is shown by the red arrow and mismatches by blue arrows. If a roll element is placed on the entry or exit line of a figure, there can be no visible line between the loop and the roll. If a line is drawn, there is a minimum deduction of two points and may be zeroed at the discretion of the judges. While observing the track of the aircraft in the loop, any lateral displacement, sometimes called corkscrew, is penalized at one half point per five degrees. Here are some half-loop figures commonly referred to as an Immelman and a split S. As with common criteria, any lateral track deviations have deductions of one half point per five degrees. For every radius change, the figure would be downgraded by one point. During the loop portion, if any roll displacement, not keeping the wings level, is observed, deduct one half point per five degrees. If some portion of the loop doesn't have a radius, in other words a flat spot, then one point is deducted for each occurrence. When a roll is required, either before or after the loop portion, the roll and the loop must be distinct. The pilot may start and exit roll before the loop is completed, as in figure 30, or in the case of an entry rolling element, start the loop before the roll is finished. In either case, judges should deduct one half point per five degrees for the overlapping roll and loop. If there are lines drawn between looping and rolling elements, either on the entry or exit as shown in figure 29, deduct a minimum of two points. Next is the three-quarter loop or goldfish. This figure consists of three partial loops connected with two 45 degree lines. As shown in figure 32, none of the radii in the figure have to match any of the others. The radii all must be smooth and constant and are subject to all of the common looping criteria. The overall length of the lines is not graded. The pilot may draw them as long or short as desired. Should there be rolls on the 45 degree lines, however, those rolls must be centered. Deductions range between 1 and 4 points using figure 14 in rule 7.1 as a reference. The track of the 45 degree lines must be at the proper angle when compared to the true horizon, 
and is deducted at one half point for five degrees. The next subfamily is the whole loops. This subfamily is further divided into three types, beginning with round loops. This loop figure is familiar to every pilot, aerobatic or not, but to perform it well is more challenging than might first appear. All of the common criteria apply here as with other looping subfamilies. The loop, when performed, must appear perfectly round from the judge's perspective. If the aircraft track drifts in or out relative to the line flown, there is a one-half point per five degree downgrade. The radius must be constant with no flat spots. One point per each radius change or flat spot. Rolls may be integrated into the loop and must be centered at the top or bottom of the loop as shown in figure two. One half point per five degrees is deducted for rolls that are presented off center. In addition to being centered, the roll must follow the curvature of the loop itself. If the roll is performed on a flat line, the minimum deduction is two points. The next subdivision of whole loops is the square, diamond, and octagon loops. While all common looping rules apply, there are several unique rules in this subdivision. This subgroup also contains partial loops of either 45 or 90 degrees. The radii for all the partial loops must be the same as indicated in figure 39. The first partial loop sets the standard to which all the remaining partial loop radii must match. The interior lines are judged on proper track compared to the true horizon and deductions are one half point per five degrees. The length of the interior line segments must be equal as indicated in figure 39. The first interior line length sets the standard for the remaining lines. Deductions for each line length error range from one to four points using figure 14 in rule 7.1 to determine the exact penalty. Rolls may also be present on interior lines and if they are, the rolls must be centered on that line. Again, the deduction is one to four points using figure 14 in rule 7.1 when not centered. The final subdivision of whole loops is the reversing whole loop as shown in figure 39a. This figure contains a three-quarter partial loop followed immediately by a one-quarter partial loop. These are flown with constant radii with the one point deduction per radius change noted. The radii of these two partial loops must be the same and are penalized one point if they are different. Between the partial loops, there should be no line drawn. The penalty for such a line is two points. If there is a rolling element integrated into the loop, either top or bottom, the element must be centered on the loop. The deduction for offsetting the roll element is one half point per five degrees. The integrated rolling element must also be drawn in the radius of the loop. Two points are deducted if drawn on a line. Finally, rolling elements could be placed on the entry line, exit line, or both. If present, there can be no line drawn between the element and the looping portion. A two point deduction is applied if a line is drawn. This concludes part one of family seven, loops and eights. For more information, log on to mini-iac.com or arrestysystem.com.